everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I am Robert Storm. As always, if you find me for the very first time, why do I always say that every time? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Robert Storm. Like, you guys should know I'm Robert Storm. It says Robert Storm's on the bottom. I don't know why I keep saying that. You know, I feel like a jackass. So the PlayStation 5 had their big announcement. I watched it and, uh, you guys, let, let me just tell you this. I'm a massive PlayStation fan, okay? Like a huge PlayStation fan. I still remember when I was, what, 12, 13, when the first PS1 came out, playing Resident Evil, Crash Bandicoot. Like, it was great times. I love the PlayStation. I have stuck by PlayStation through thick and thin over the years. When everybody jumped on the 360 bandwagon, no, I stayed true with my overgrown, fat-ass PS3. I'm like, this is the best console. This is the best console. But was it though? I mean, I don't know. Hindsight 50 50. I think I was wrong. But I've been a massive PlayStation fan for the majority of my life. I love PlayStation. I love the PlayStation exclusives. But somewhere in the middle of the PS4 life cycle, I ended up switching over to Xbox. I like Xbox. I didn't really own the original Xbox, but I did have a 360 and I bought the Xbox One. And I, I thought the Xbox One was just a fumble launch. Like, they fucked up from the very beginning with the Xbox One. But Phil Spencer came in, changed some things, and started making the Xbox library more backwards compatible to appease the gamers for their lack of exclusives other than like Gears of War, Forza, and Halo. They really don't have anything. PlayStation has the best exclusives outside of Nintendo, like Uncharted, God of War. Like I could just talk for hours about just the exclusives PlayStation has. And I still own all consoles. Whenever Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft come out with a new console, I end up buying those consoles. But I have to tell you that I feel like the xbox series x is going to be the console that i am most intrigued to get nothing that i saw in the ps5 press conference today showed me anything that really wowed me not like what microsoft has done you guys can sit there and say well playstation has the best exclusive no one is debating that okay if you think i'm debating that before you even write in the comments like a jackass don't write that because I'm not debating that. I am not debating that one bit. But what I like as a gamer, and I know I'm going to get shit for this, it's fine because I already got shit for this in the comments on Facebook, is I love the ability to play my old games on one console. And people are like, well, yeah, you can only play old games on Xbox because they have no exclusive. That's not the point. If you are a gamer, you game games that is the definition of gamer it doesn't matter if it's a game that came out in the 80s the the 90s the early 2000s you are a gamer you like certain games if i want to play the metal gear solid collection i can't play this on my ps4 because the ps4 ain't backwards compatible so guess what i have to unhook my ps4 plug in my ps3 who the fuck wants to go all through that when they want to play a game like i really want to play metal gear solid 3 snake eater guess what i have to go through all this bullshit with a different controller different chords all this different nonsense to play metal gear solid 3 when i can just sit there and play it on my xbox one guess what xbox one is already hooked up i just got done playing halo 5 guess what i can play metal gear solid 3 snake eater on my xbox one you know why because it's fully backwards compatible the PS5 is like, oh, we're going to have like 100 games from the PS4 already backwards compatible. That's great. But Phil Spencer said the Xbox One Series X is going to have full backwards compatible day one. So that means, guess what? I can play Knights of the Old Republic. I can play Metal Gear HD Collection. You know, is this going to be playable on the PS5? Who the fuck knows? And you can sit there and go, well, Rob, I don't buy systems to play old games. Then you're not a fucking gamer. You are not a fucking gamer. If you do not play old games, you are not a fucking gamer. You are one of the people that just buys the new fucking technology consoles that come out so you can play the new thing so you can sit around and talk with your friends. Like, yeah, I play Grand Theft Auto 8. Like, you are not a fucking gamer. Okay? Me, I want to be able to play different games. If I want to go fucking play Halo 1, I can play Halo 1. I want to play Catherine. I can play Catherine. I can play fucking Dead or Alive, too. Like, I want to be able to play these games on one fucking console, and I don't have to worry about either disconnecting, hooking something up, or freaking hooking up 500 different consoles on one TV and having like a giant safety hazard of wires everywhere that my house is going to burn down. 
I like the fact that Microsoft is sitting there going like, yes, we know we don't have a large amount of exclusives outside of Halo, Gears of War, and Forza. But you know what? We're working on that. And in the meantime, guys, while we're bringing you Halo Infinite, here is the full backwards compatible library. You can go back. You can go to a thrift store. You can go to GameStop. You can go to yard sales. And you can buy games like this that you can play on your fucking console. I'm sorry. Not only that, you look at the specs of the Xbox One Series X and the specs of the PlayStation 5, the Xbox One Series X is a better put-together console. That is the facts. That is not my opinion. That is a motherfucking fact. That's a motherfucking fact. So I, full disclosure, will be getting both consoles. I will begin the PS5 and the Xbox One Series X. I collect and play all. All systems. I am a gamer. I play everything. But the Xbox Series X is the thing that I think will be my default gaming console. Just like the PS4 was my default gaming console until Phil Spencer came in and turned Xbox around. Now every game I play that's not an exclusive is on the Xbox One. So anyway guys, my thoughts on it. Can't wait to see the comments I get in here because I know people are very passionate about their gaming. But guys, just take this. This is just my opinion. This is just my opinion of what I feel about how I game personally. Each and every person has their own different gaming techniques. Each and every person plays games. Some people just play Call of Duty. Some people just play, you know, FIFA or Madden. That's fine. If that's fine with you, then maybe PS5 is the console for you. But if you are what you call yourself a gamer, and you are a gamer, you have to be looking at the Xbox Series X as the default console moving into the next generation. Anyway, guys, be sure to leave your comments in the comment box below. Until next time, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.